Hi friends, this is an intro video to my project on this particular drone. Uh, if you follow my channel, uh, you'll be looking into many other videos. Uh, I usually try to build a drone. I try to program the flight controller of the drone. Uh, initially I worked with Arduino and then uh, that was the last drone, the F250 class drone. Uh, slightly bigger than this. This is a 200 class drone, like only 200 mm. The other one was 250 so you can check out the videos it's also in the the links are also in the description okay so uh, in this drone the most important thing is it's a smaller drone and i did not have an objective of uh, uh, of making it cheap and it was the original intention of the previous builds but here we are going with all the standard uh, components so as to make it a light drone this is a 2205 size motors and then we have 5 inch prop and if you see the ESCs uh, these are 12 ampere Simon K ESCs uh, actually this motors require like 20 ampere but the 12 ampere seems to be working I guess I am not pulling it up like a FPV so it seems to be holding but one of the ESCs you can see here it's a um, BL heli 20 ampere AC which I originally procured to use in this drone but it seems the other ones work so I'm sticking with it to it it's a little bit intriguing that I'm using different ESCs but the drone seems to work okay uh, that is about the ESC and then uh, before I go into the flight controller I would like to show you uh, some basic components the one here is down but you see this and this this is the power distribution board okay it's a matic matic make matic uh, brand pdb but this additional blue led with the board is I have, I have i have added this to this board it did not come originally this is a 3.3 volt output uh, this matic board originally can supply 5 volt output i needed the 3.3 volt i'll tell you why so We'll come back later for this. Okay, starting with the flight controller. So, the most important thing about this project is I'm using an ESP32 microcontroller, uh, which is with the make actually is uh, ESP32 Nano. It's it's an Arduino clone of the ESP32 Nano. It has the same footprint as the Arduino Nano. Okay, you can see this. So actually I use the same design of my previous light controller PCB to put this thing up here. And and and, and usual we have the MPU6050 there. Very standard. And in this particular board I I added a compass. You can see the QMCL555, I guess. It's a compass here. And then most importantly I had to add a level shifter because the ESP32 operates at 3.3 volt so this level shifter is important it just made my board a little big but yeah it's important okay and so that is all about the various onboard uh, components so it's a ESP32 S3 so you can check out the specifications it's quite the CPU speed is extremely good it's 200 plus megahertz it's a dual core obviously we're using one core and also has a Wi-Fi antenna as a Wi-Fi capabilities I haven't used that yet so that is how the flight controller is and then I usually mount this on soft foam just to have the isolation vibration isolation and this is something I made as a protector and you can see I also broke it it supported it protected the flight controller so that is about flight controller uh, so once I have the ESP32 drone, uh, I wanted the ESP32 controller for some major things. That is like to have added capabilities on the 
uh, on the tone like previously i was using the arduino uh, i had limitations on the calculation speed the refresh rate so that is all changed now the arduino drone drone which i worked on uh, last video which you can see i'll put a description in the link uh, you can check out the video uh, upgrading my drone to 400 hertz so that in that i achieved 400 hertz refresh rate but i had to add additional arduino controllers uh, like which i i, I basically uh, separated the various functions that is motor control primary flight cal uh, controller calculations into different arduino so that was how i achieved 400 hertz but that was not a practical way uh, so we have this so right now the refresh rate on this is like two milliseconds so i can run i'm running it at 500 hertz of refresh rate this is actually very high very good i would say and then even then i have a lot of uh, micro microseconds uh, for uh, like for additional calculations so okay that is all about uh, later on i'll go into the programming and i'll explain this more of this so the important features of this drone is that we have the lidar for altitude hold or the height hold so this is a VL53L1X LIDAR or LIDAR L-I-D-A-R so it has a ranging capabilities up to 4 meters that's actually quite good uh, I don't even need it for my indoor drone okay and then uh, yeah and then this has a sampling rate of like 30 to 40 uh, samples per second which is good for my high road use I, you can check out in the video also so the altitude hold is on right now I am not doing much activity there I fixed it for this height. You can see how much moving the total speed. It is very precise. It's a lidar, it's very precise. Disengaging now. And then the other important thing is I have this optical flow module. Holybro optical flow module with the UART output. Okay, so this two combined gives me a position hold. So I will you can check out the videos separately for the altitude hold and also currently I'm working on the position hold so that is all about the drone and then um, so the, the thing is i have this esp32 controller and i have a lot of uh, calculation i can perform a lot of calculations for more functionalities okay so that's it i uh, i also have this yeah 430 megahertz telemetry module this is actually pretty good for uh, debugging like when you are operating drone flying it i can transmit data to my laptop helps me debug so that's it thanks thanks for watching i'll be up with more videos please stay tuned please put up your questions in the comment if you have any i'll try my best to explain them